what's going on everybody how's everyone doing today all right the uh on theorem getting ready to go get we are let's get to it and came to a point where we had to stop can't travel in the mako there it goes saving content Some bad shit's been happening here. Oh shit. There we go. What is that? I can't see over there. What is that shooting? There it goes, whatever it was. Come on, Garrus. What you seeing? I don't even know what's over there. They seeing something. Alright. It's music though. <laughs> oh shoot. The music is on point. I don't see it's something up there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was some uh, somebody up there with a sniper rifle that was tagging. Real good behind that rock. There we go. Oh, now you want to throw up the shield. Alright, let me, uh... Since you want to hide behind the rock. Boom! Out of there! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Thought it might be something over here, but I guess not. That was pop. That was nice. Popped him right in the dome. Ah, there he goes. He's shooting some over there. Uh. Yep, dampen. And we'll shield boost her. Okay. Somebody else back there going. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh. Okay. All right, dome action. All right. I remember the the, the assault rifles on here, or uh, yeah, they're still pretty horrible. <laughs> Especially if you uh, if you. Well, if you got if it's a, it's a big target, it seems like it's fine, you know, because you got a lot of area to hit. But if you're trying to like zoom in, mm -mm. <laughs> on something small, it's not working. What 
music was uh that music was awesome right there. I don't see anything else. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. God damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, he blasted me one time. What the hell was that? Man. Where is that even coming from? Is that behind us? Alright, let me let's move. Let's move. I can't even see the damn thing. Okay, there you go. Making a gun overheat. Okay, you want to roll up on us. Where is it at? Where is it coming from? Okay. We don't want none of those problems. I mean, how many bullets does this thing take? Uh, let's see. Sabotage. Adrenaline burst. What the hell do we have to do? Is she? Is she out? Yeah, she is out. I'm tripping. Damn, we can't revive her? Uh... No, she is not reviving. <laughs> oh no, she came back. Okay. Yeah, she was... She was not reviving, dog. All right, Garris, let's switch you up. Oh, you changed weapons yourself. Uh. I don't know if we're, we're not supposed to. What are we not? What am I not hitting? Oh, 
finally, okay. Damn, that thing took a lot of bullets. I mean, dude. That thing took so much damage. I was hitting it with everything. Oh, them thing, that thing gonna be a damn problem. Nothing out here. Just double checking the surroundings here. See if I'm, what the hell is that noise? Alright, I guess that's it. That was nasty, man. I mean, that thing was... It hit me one time. And it was like... Dong, 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 dong. I was like... Okay. <laughs> Hot death. Oh, shoot. Alright. Ashley was out. She was face planted. That a, they gonna have to they gonna have to uh, do something about that. That that adrenaline bar is ridiculous. Oh shit! And he popped out fast. Get down! Well, grenade finally worked. Remember these things being this difficult to take out. All clear, Commander. But these things are hell. Yeah, man. Ah, there she is. But is she in this one or the one on the bottom? Hmm. Crazy, I have my gun out at all times. Nobody got anything to say? Y'all good? Like I, like I said. Look at the accuracy on it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let it heal back up. Come on, shield. Oh, shoot. Let me just... Pistol is just more accurate right now. Did they both die? They did die. <laughs> Yo. We are getting bodied on here so far. Let me see something. Alright, let's uh beef peep everybody up a little bit. <laughs> we are hot epic dying in here. Um
Yeah, we're gonna go for advanced unity. Well, hold up. Yeah, immunity looks good too. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not first aid. Okay. This is my fault. I I did not pay attention. I didn't uh beef them up like that. I apologize. Well, no, no, no. Let's go back. Yeah, let's uh. Yeah, definitely get you to fitness. Get you soldier up because I'm mainly going she mainly gonna keep an assault rifle at all times so I'm not too mainly just get her health up hmm definitely give her first aid she got about four yeah four get her I thought I just did this before I jumped off the ship but no wonder we were uh, getting bodied like that. And a shield boost. And we'll be for. I would get her to advance for a stay, but. We'll get her rifles up. I'll do all that other stuff later. She's mainly gonna have an assault rifle at all times, so I'm just worried about her fitness and everything else. Hmm. About two points. Yeah. Throw it in first aid. Alright, Garris, what you got? Now I had to do that to get him the sniper rifles. need to get that up I don't want to get to a hard thing and I couldn't and I can't do it maybe on his next level up I will I might respect him. I don't know. It just depends. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Nerp, nerp, and nerp. Yeah, everything we got is like a wounded weapon or something. I've been giving all the shotguns to what's his name? Yeah, we actually really don't have nothing too new. I thought she had that gun. God, the accuracy rating on this gun is just ass, man. Like, you see, the accuracy rating is just poo poo.
Yeah, and they got poor armor. This is just the first little area, though. But, jeez. Hope we find something soon. I hope that goes a little bit better. Heal everybody up. <laughs> Can you hear me out there? We are. I'm trapped. I need help. We are at Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. What's going on with her skin on her head? You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get oh, past God. the barrier. Not a Krogan. <laughs> Anything but a Krogan. Oh, look at them all, like, pointing up there ready. Anything but a Krogan. Alright, since y'all just want to stand there. he was close enough to affect him. Woo. Okay. I mean, since they wanted to just stand there. You keep switching from that uh that sniper rifle, Garris. Uh, what the hell? Damn it. Did that do anything? Okay, blast the hole. I don't like the noises I'm hearing back here. It's some weird stuff. Active rounds. Let's see, is there anything else back there that could help? Radioactive rounds seems to be working um really well on here. Well, chemical rounds, I'm tripping. 
I didn't realize I had uh, new rounds like that. I'd have been passing those things around. Uh, so let's see here. Chemical rounds on there. Got armor piercing rounds on here. I've been giving myself like the best rounds. <laughs> See, I'm keep a uh, armor piercing on there. Everybody else is kind of suffering. Uh, let's see what you got, Garris. Uh, let's give you Hmm. Hmm. Give him hammerhead on those. Ashley, I think you will take. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna give her that. Definitely not. Let's give you armor piercing as well. Now, what do I have on there? Armor piercing three. Okay. God, you gotta override everything on here. I don't remember overriding this much. Oh, finally. Assault rifle and, um... I may give that uh, both of those to them. Just cause, uh... <laughs> they need to get their stuff up. <laughs> uh, the Lancer, it's not even that great. The Avenger is still better than that. Well, it's better than anything that, um... No, she got an Avenger as well. Yeah, I may just give it to Garrus then. That did the uh, what's the name? Ain't that better either? Wow. Okay. Well, that sucked. Finding. Sucky weapons. Like we playing an RPG, huh? It's almost like we playing an RPG. I miss the old days of RPGs that would give you like uh <laughs> you always got something brand new that that really helped you when you got to a new place. But it's weird on RPGs now. It almost feels like they give you something and it only boosts your stats by like 25 or some shit like that. Uh. Oh, okay. I was going to say, man. I was like, okay. How? How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. <laughs> he did it all slow. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? What's going on with her eyes? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit, but I don't know. What 
the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On to double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Eight minutes? Gonna be close, Skipper. The fastest ships in the galaxy? <laughs> Where the hell was he at on the other side of the planet? There he goes. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. And the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare I don't remember. I don't remember what he wanted her no, for. Doesn't matter. That was weird. Go after the Krogan first here. Trust me. You can hide behind stuff, but trust me. Get this Krogan out of the way. Uh. Move out of the way, girl. <laughs> yeah, you don't want him to get close. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend Thanks, to Joker. fry our sensors <laughs> and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Uh... He says. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How 50 old are you years? exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. <laughs> a century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hmm. Uh, let's go. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. 
There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Hmm. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Hmm. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of Jealous, course, Ashley? Right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. It's true too. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen. I know why sometimes it seems like Shepard's face is dismissed. like got red Mission spots on it. Found, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. It's so hard not to like. 
cuss them out and be like, man, fuck, you know, like, all right, like, man, fuck y'all, man. We'll take this uh little time and I guess go talk to people. Usually after the mission is yes, to... commander. Uh, how did you end up assigned to the North? Oh, no, I get... They had the numbers. carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. All right, so. You don't need to talk to him. And now in between, we will start doing some of those uh, like little missions, going to these planets and different things like that, before we hit up another big one. Is it still too early to talk to him? He always turn around like they're gonna have a deep conversation, but. <laughs> Anything you need, Commander? Uh. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. Yeah. I call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled there are worse results of accidental why is the subtitle not zero. working here beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with is there some question about how you were exposed my mother was downwind of a transport crash it was before there were human biotics a little after the discovery of the martian ruins it only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do though. It was a research platform and it kinetics kept jump zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Um then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana. I don't know why his voice sounds like this. Circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a... A whiner. Nah, man, you Besides, went through some shit, bro. I got my past squared away. 
cool. I need to figure out what the hell's going on with the subtitles here. Um, I don't remember doing that. I, I did not turn the subtitles off. Okay. Make sure they save this time. I don't even understand that. Let me see something. Yeah, all that is off. Uh, I don't remember what I had. Did I have this at zero? Huh. It says five. I don't know. Uh, let's see here, uh, make sure I keep my charm up. Right now I want to get to immunity. Okay. And... All right, now I can talk to everybody with some damn, um, okay, this is, oh, I thought that thing had a little, I don't know what, why I did that, though. Check this again. Ah, okay. More stuff. There she is. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. Nope. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. It's very dark in here. I don't know. I'm going to do something about this lighting. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Uh... Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. That's yeah, true. <laughs> you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. 
I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? <laughs> no! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. joking. Clearly. Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. She should spend time around people and you get them social skills in order. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Uh... This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Hmm. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true Damn. connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Hmm. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Who is your father? You know, Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner. She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Wait, oh, what? <laughs> wow. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our homeworld. Oh, Union true. with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. Actually makes I sense. I what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never yeah, spoke your mom. Of partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Uh... You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? 
Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. All right, I guess that's I it. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. All right, I am going to end here. And we come back, we'll finish up talking to the crew, and then we'll head out into space to go tackle some other little planets and do some little things before we hit up one of the next story missions. Just to build up the team. I feel like we need to get a lot stronger than what we are. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. But thank you guys for rocking with me. As I always say, I really appreciate anybody that's checking out the videos. Um, if I you like the content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.